Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm going to be reading a story to you. Just kidding. Actually, today I'm going to be reviewing after many requests from the What's in the Bag IPCPR video that I released last week. A um, lot of requests for the short tails, so I'm going to go ahead and do a review of this beautiful stick and I want to go ahead and show you this gorgeous box which actually does feature a story in it and it's actually really neat. I read through it. It's called Tales of the Land Kotui and it's the Tomo 2 which is like the second volume. This is the second book in the Saga Short Tales series. There's a total of 10 I believe and again this is the second release and it's a really cool story that it talks about this area of Kotui. Hopefully I'm saying it correctly and it even gives a little map and I'll get into that in a little bit um, into the review. But it, it is um, very unique. There are a few people that have done like the book type of themes, but nothing to this extent. Um, hats off to Nirka Reyes and the whole team for developing this beautiful idea, not to mention a fantastic blend. So without further ado, let's get into this stick. I'm going to take, oh, if I can, get, there we go. So it does come in a beautiful, what is this, a 10 count box. And again, second volume on the Short Tales collection. And I'm just gonna set this over here. This one is available in one size. It's a five by 54 Bellicoso. Taking it out of the package here. And it's unique in the sense that the wrapper used on this particular cigar is coming from that region, which is why it goes um, into you know, the name and everything else with the tales of the land of Kotui. And the wrapper is grown by Monica Kellner, who, if you guys are familiar with Davidoff's, uh, he used to be the master blender for years, Hanky Kellner, that's his daughter. And so she's not only, um, you know, growing some fantastic tobacco, but this particular wrapper is the first to be used. If I'm not mistaken, it's the first to be used on any cigar in the industry. I'm not familiar with it. I've never uh, been to that region. I've never, I wasn't even familiar with that region that it was a place for growing tobacco until um, I read about it and was talking to Nirka um, about that particular region. It's mostly known, I guess, or it was known for the gold in the time of, you know, what goes into this tale, you have to get the, the box to read about it. But that particular region was known for gold. And then there's a river that kind of flows, if I'm not mistaken, there's like a, it's a, it's a mountain area, mountainous uh, area. There's a river that flows nearby. So it produces this really fertile land, which was great for tobacco growing. And it's close by, or it's part of the Yamasa region. And again, you know, Davidoff did that that release, I believe it was last year with, you know, the Yamasa. And so this one is, you know, very different from that, but it's again, using that wrapper first, first time ever um, on this beautiful cigar. Again, Bellicoso 5x54. And let's, you know, take a little bit of a closer look. I'll give you guys um, a very tight view of what it looks like. It features the two bands. The green on this one is the short tails. Again, it lets you know it's part of that collection. And it, again, I mentioned the wrapper is a Dominican Kotui and the binder is Indonesian Sumatra. The filler is Dominican Negrito and Piloto and also some Connecticut Broadleaf. So great flavors. Again, the first release of the short tails um, was a much stronger. It was Tales of the High Priming, I believe was the name of it. And it was a much stronger blend a much stronger you know in the strength and overall flavor so this one is not quite as strong so if you're again looking for some great flavors but you're not looking for that uh, really strong strength this would probably be a better stick for you and again the flavors are fantastic but we're going to go ahead and just smoke it down hopefully i haven't talked your ear off too much but again i just love the idea the packaging is brilliant So hats off again to, to Nirka for designing it and um, her team, you know, as well for coming up with that great idea. Mm. <clears throat> so right away you get a nice mixture 
of a warm cedar and a little bit of cinnamon. There also is a nice amount of spice in this. Kind of more of a green pepper. You still get that little semi-sweet kind of spicy, you know, cinnamon. And then that nice aged cedar is really um, what's coming through on this on the um, play, flavor, plo, plo, flavor profile, tongue twister there. And again, that nice green pepper is just kind of creeping in and it's actually hanging out for a little bit on a longer finish. Beautiful amount of smoke output, very inviting aroma. Off to a good start. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it down as normal and check back in with you for the second third. So coming back in for the second third on the Saga Short Tails, as you can see this beautiful ash, I wanted to point that out. The construction and the draw on this cigar are fantastic. Um, absolutely wonderful. Just a, a really pleasant cigar to smoke. Um, right around this midpoint, it's taken on a little bit of a, of a slight orange citrus. There's still that remaining pepper, but again, still more along the lines of a green pepper over that black pepper. And there still is a hint of cinnamon as well as that remaining cedar. So it's just really nice. Very nice profile, um, enjoying it quite a bit. As far as the strength level, it's about a medium, almost medium plus, I would say, but right around that mid midpoint of a medium, almost to that full side of medium. So really nice on the strength level, and again, uh, very amazing on the draw and the, and the construction. So I'm gonna continue to smoke it down a little bit more and check back in with you guys for the final third. So coming back for the final third on this Saga Short Tales uh, Volume 2, this is where it gets a really nice sweetness. I've noticed um, comparing it to the first and the second third, that sweeter hint that was kind of in there on the second third is really turned up and it's almost replaced that green pepper. You can still taste the green pepper, it's just taken a back seat to that little nice kind of a cocoa sweetness that's, um, again, somewhat subtle, but you definitely get a, a taste for it. That little bit of citrus that I noticed in the second third uh, is not really there anymore in this final third, but there is still that beautiful cedar, almost like a sun-drenched uh, piece of cedar wood is kind of what I compare that cedar flavor to. But very nice on the overall profile, the smoking experience, the construction, a beautiful draw, and a really nice smoke output. So definitely a cigar that I recommend that you get your hands on. If nothing else, to collect one of these beautiful books that, again, is a piece of art, a really beautiful thought process, and just everything the way that it's uh, presented is, is wonderful. So don't forget also to check out my IPCPR 2017 video as I will be posting the winners of the contest giveaway that I did on the bag video on this full IPCPR 2017 video also so you can check out what's new in the industry. So as always, I thank you so much for watching and thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Cheers.